Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Koholo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakach Vadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, Hey, they're turning up with this NATO. Now, this one says NATO sends nuclear retaliation warning to Russia and China. <laughs> so, hey, things is heating up out here, man. And I got another one as well. Let's see if, what this, this, if this video will play. So, I'm sure ad is going to play. It's a minute and 12 seconds, but let's see what this is. If we get nothing out of it, I'll just read it. Of course, they're going to do an ad. So, lock you. Yeah, man, it's getting it's getting real out here, and and while people running around out here, you know, here we go right here. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so Lockie is one of those ones where you pretty you know got to pretty much read the teleprompter. They're not actually speaking it, but let's read a little bit of it. it says NATO was put putting Russia and any other nuclear armed peer competitors on notice that the transatlantic alliance can and will retaliate against any nuclear attack the latest edition of the security blocks guiding strategic concept events is a more muscular posture regarding nato's nuclear force than the 2010 document which characterized russia as a partner just four years before the kremlin seized crimea from ukraine and the last document implies that the North Atlantic allies sent a stronger signal about threats for Russia, from Russia's nuclear threats. They also won't fail to keep an eye on China's nuclear arsenal. See, we have a wartime strategic concept, actually, not a peacetime one. So we want to use the stronger language, a senior European official told the Washington Examiner. Okay. But anyway, you see what it is, man. Um... They have this other title which says Biden announces permanent base in Poland. See, strengthening of um, NATO's eastern flank. So basically, if you're familiar with, um, you know, war, you know, when you're getting flanked, man, you know, you, <laughs> hey, that's, a, <laughs> that's scary business. You want to, that's, that's like somebody, you know, for, for, for basic terms, if you live on a street, and I mean, it's pretty much like what the police do. You know how they come around the back of the house. They have all areas, you know what I'm saying, secure before they breach. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They'll have the snipers in, you know, they'll have, you, you know, snipers, snipers on point, you know, with their strategic points from the back sides. You know, they're going to have every single angle, you know, um, covered. And that's pretty much what, what NATO was trying to do. So let's see. Um, let me get a little bit more. It says the circumstances in which NATO might have to use nuclear weapons are extremely remote. The strategic concept reads, any employment of nuclear weapons against NATO would fundamentally alter the nature of a conflict. The alliance has capabilities and resolve to impose costs on an adversary that would be unacceptable and far outweigh the benefits that any adversary could hope to achieve. That's more forceful. That's a more forceful warning than a anagalus section of the 2010 document so they turning up you see what i'm saying and, and apostle you know he, he he said this is the year to turn up man they turning up right now um says in which the alliance emphasized that the circumstances in which any use of nuclear weapons might have to be contemplated are extremely remote the revision also placed more emphasis on france and the new united kingdom nuclear weapons in an apparent effort to signal that the, the threat of nuclear retaliation for a Russian nuclear attack wouldn't depend solely on an American president. See? So, hey, <laughs> this shit is turning, I'm telling you, man, it's turning all the way up. And these comments, man, these proud ass Americans, oh my goodness, man. It says, has to be sooner than later, sooner or later. But see, the average person, the average American, they don't know what's going on. They, they have no idea what, what's going on in the backdrop between these, these, these so called white people, man, and their European nations man and you and, and this right here lets you know let's get a quick scripture real quick because when you look at it and i seen the um you know the video you know um because i was just watching it on the channel called newsy 
and um you know they was going off into it and turkey finally gave the go-ahead with um poland and finland actually becoming um nato partners or whatever but you know they had to negotiate and get their little deals in so turkey was the one that was keeping them from actually signing in so you know they went behind the tables and and talked all kinds of um deals probably you know you know how so-called white people get down you know because them people over in turkey i think them maybe edomites too <laughs> they might they just might be edomites as well but these are these are edomites man that are um running this um running the world the globe these are the wicked this is how you can tell who the wicked are let's go into job 9 and 24 because like i said you're not gonna hey i seen i didn't see not one not even one african in that shit <laughs> you see when they had the g7 you don't see no no dark skin there's no skin color there buddy it's all so-called white people and we call them so-called white people because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color this is esau edom the so-called white man that's their biblical name now let's get Job 9 and 24 because, like I said, when you look at it and you look at the meetings, check out the, check out the forums they be having. Check out the forums that they just had in Switzerland with your Bill Gates, your um, George Soros, and your, you know, your Charles Schwab, whatever the hell this guy's name is. All those people are Edomites. The women that were speaking on the panel, all I seen was Edomites. I didn't see, like I said, you know, some of these, um, you know, they let some of these so-called African nations in on some, some of this stuff, but... I didn't even see a damn ham mic there. You see? So we know who's running things. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If, if it's not these people, then who is it? Because they're they're the ones that's that's um got satellites all up in space, you know, um putting nuclear weapons all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Got submarines all over the place. You know, Navy ships all over the place. The so-called Negro is not running shit. We're just, <laughs> we're just subjects in these people's countries, man. You know, and that's a part of Deuteronomy chapter 28 as far as us going into slavery to our enemies. But the Lord is coming back to rectify this place, man. He's coming back to rectify this place. See, all this importance that the so-called white man has, and really if it wasn't for the power that he exhibits, he, he'd be nothing anyway. It's just, you know, because... Their women don't even really like them like that. That's why so many um, so-called white women, they, they don't mind getting with a Jake. They've been wanting um, 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 the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men. They've been doing that. As a matter of fact, I was just looking at um, and, and, and see what they've tried to do is they, they've definitely, and it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shemi and the prophecies, that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men have absolutely no ties in the earth. That's why, um, what's that description where it talks about if the earth was given to us for our sake. Let me see if I can find that. Salakia. Okay, Salakia. Yeah, that's um, 2nd Edra 6. And um, 50. Uh, I just want to get to the point. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the world was made for our sake. But we have no part in it. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, the last time we were sovereign was around, um, you know, King Solomon. We, we ruled for that, that peaceful time of 40 years at that particular time. But other than that, we are the only people on the planet that don't have a standard military. The last time we had a standard military, we had swords and spears and shit like that. We didn't, you know, <laughs> we, we've never had control of a tank, control of a Black Hawk helicopter, um, control of a... a, a, a um, seafaring ships, so to speak. You know, we, we, we're just subjects. And matter of fact, they work the shit out of us and use our money to buy their equipment. You know, they, they, they've really built their military and their country up off the backs of, uh, of our blood, sweat and tears, man. And they're going to pay for it. And you're not going to tell me that um, um, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is not the wicked that the Bible speaks of. It's showing you, you see who's in control. You see? Now they put that that Negro um, Clarence Thompson or uh, Clarence um, whatever the hell this guy's name is, you know, out there with the, the Roe versus Wade. They got him with the face of it, but they're not showing the other white man that agreed with him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But they got him as the face of that crap. That's just like they have the uh, 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 our men, the face of um, uh, uh, this tranny stuff that's going on. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, they've removed the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American men 
out of this whole equation of everything that goes on on the earth even our women we don't have nothing man when i tell you we're we're finished as a nation of people but that's gonna all reverse and backfire on the so-called white man because in our kingdom they gonna be pieces of shit man just like the pieces of shit they are right now you see and because i was just watching um <laughs> i was kind of watching a little bit of tv and i'm just kind of scrolling through the channels and i guess you know they got prices right I used to watch it back when i was a kid well, you know, I, I guess they got like what they have a couples, you know, with the husband and wife that stand there and bid. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, OK, they got a new show. I hadn't seen it in a long time because I really watch TV. But now they got the couples in there, right? They got the, um, you know, Asian couple, Chinese couple, you know, so-called um, a, a few different white couples, um, generally so-called white, you know, the white man and the white woman. And you know what? They didn't have not one black couple on there. You know who they had? The so-called white man with a fucking black woman. And I'm looking at this shit like, yeah, what, 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 this shit must stop. And I know I'm, I'm kind of going a little bit somewhere else with it, you know, but that's by the spirit. But I just wanted to just touch on the fact that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're not in control of nothing. The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. And then I was just, I was flipping through that, you know, because I get so agitated with seeing that type of shit. I'm scrolling on through. I'm like, fuck it, let me get away from this. I get to the next couple of channels or whatever, and then, you know, they got this um, TV show Flash whatever and i'll be damned if he's not laid up with a black woman i'm like well god damn so they really completely removed the so-called black man out of the equation on the earth but let's let me get this back again all that i have spoken before thee O yahweh because the world because thou madest the world for our sake as for the other people which also come of adam thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Yahweh, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And that's what's been going on since we've been here. We've been, you know, they, they've been devouring us, man, for about 500 or so years, man. Good half millennial, damn little, a millennium, man. You see? And it's coming to an end. And it's coming to an end by their own sword. See, that sword, they was gifted with the sword. But the scripture says that he that live by the sword shall die by the sword. So their blessing is actually a curse to them. And they're going to get done with the old, with the same weapons that they came up with to overpower the world, so to speak. They're going to be demolished with those weapons, man. And not to mention, when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, they're going to get some real brutal laser work. You see? Verse 58, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and the fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? <laughs> See, and this is what we're patiently waiting on. That's why the scriptures on Revelation 13 and 9, it goes off, or 13 and 10, it goes off into, um, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into it. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Because we're patiently waiting for, well, you know, for, for some, some relief in this place. Like, why, how is it? We're so downtrodden to the point we couldn't even possibly even think of being a root and rulership as a people. I'm just saying as a people. Now, us that's into this truth, the Lord has given us that vision into it. We can see it going into this future that we just have that. It's like being in this body. It's like being in a damn jail cell and you just want to just break free. Like, man, I can't wait to get the hell out of here, man, and really be, you know, get a new body, man, and, and, and know what it's like to really be free and know what it's really like to rule, man. You see, and it's coming to that point, man. And I'm going to go back into the article. I just wanted to, you know, hey, I'm rolling in the spirit, man. Start at verse 9, Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword, they, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, that's what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. See, we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. What I just read as far as, um, you know, um, second address, man. We're waiting, patiently waiting, you know, because like I said, again, we have absolutely nothing in this world. And you're not going to tell me. Let me get this Job 9 and 24 again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So whoever is running the earth, that's who the wicked is. <laughs> you can't get around it. And you're not going to tell me that it's not the so-called white man, because even with Russia, they're they're them Edomites too. Them so-called white people too. They even they even have um all power. They they dealing with power over there. You know what I'm saying? It, actually, they dealing with so much power. They able to pretty much um, you know, knuckle up with all these NATO nations, man. 
And they talking mad shit about it too. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If the so-called white man is not, then who is it? What is it? Um, the Cambodians? It's the Filipinos? Is it the Japanese? Well, they got bombed by Hiroshima. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they caught a couple of those, those bombs from the so-called white man. So we know it's not them. China got a little bit of thing going on, but we already know it's not them. The people that's running the earth every time is these, you, you, the EU, NATO, just so-called white people in general. They're in control of the water. They're in control of the air. They're in control of the food. They're in control of the laws that's being made. They're in control of, of, of the curriculum that the children learn at school. They're in control of auto making. They're in control of anything that you want to try and do. They're in control of um, missiles. They're in control of bullets. They're in control of grenades. They're in control of shotguns. I don't give a fuck what. They're in control. And the scripture says that we should go to our enemies for one of all things. So you know it's not us. This is a clear cut um, um, hookup where it's, it's showing you that this man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. This person says two more countries Putin can threaten to blow up with nuclear bombs and wonder how billions of dollars that would cost the United States to maintain either taking Putin out of the cripple or crippled the whole country from ever having a threat to others. But see, and, and, and another thing, too, hey, the same way America is giving all your taxpayers money to Ukraine, they're about to start giving it to Poland and Finland. So they got plenty of money to bullshit. But, but in the meanwhile, you got people here in the Americas, they're hungry. They can't pay their fucking rent. You see what I'm saying? The gas system dropped a little bit. They kind of giving you a little bit of relief, um, possibly for this 4th of July weekend. So you, you can get your last barbecue in. Because I'm really believing, man, by the spirit that after this 4th of July shit going to really turn up. They going to give you one last time to barbecue and party before your ass go off into the fall. And that's when shit is going to be real detrimental out here to the people that haven't been paying attention, man. You see? Because let me, let me go up. Um, it was one more story that I had. Uh, let's see if I went into it. Uh, let me see if I got it in my history here. I'm telling you, man, this thing is turning up out here. And Esau Edom is the, is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. See? Here you go right here. Putin issues fresh warning to Finland and Sweden on installing NATO infrastructure. See? So it's a lot of back and forth talking. And this guy not going for that bullshit, man. He didn't already put it out there. That's the reason why he went into Ukraine. To begin with. But is the American news telling the American people that, you know, um, the reason why this guy's in Ukraine is because he doesn't want to be flanked by, by, by a bunch of damn um, um, American bombs and, and shit? They're not telling you that. What they got, what see, the people out here, they got the people all distracted with Roe versus Wade. They didn't gave R. Kelly 30 years. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They, Because they, niggas ain't paying no attention anyway. You, you, don't have to, you don't have to throw a whole bunch of um, information out there for these Negroes. You know, you, you don't, you, you, it don't take too much to deter them. They ain't paying attention anyway. When it comes to the so-called white people, you know, they're into their, their, their bread and circus as well. Got all kinds of stuff going on, man. They uh, they gave the uh, the the Maxine chick. I think they gave her twenty years. You know, little shit that's just in the news. You know, they they they. You know, they, you got these so-called white people that's riled up about losing their guns. You got your gun laws. You got your Republicans on one side of things. You got your 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 um, Democrats on one side of things. Your right and left. You got the uh, the. The, the 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 Roe versus Wade this done overshadowed the last portion of um these trannies, you know, with their with their alphabet month. Proud as hell of their alphabet month. A matter of fact, I just seen a um let me see if I still got that one in there. It's a lock here. See? It's another one. Poll. Pr pride in being an American at an all time low. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's all bo boiling down to World War Three, man. And we're living in the last days. And it's important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Y'all got to wake up. Because like I said, again, you're the only people on the planet. You are the children of Israel. And it's a reason why we're at the bottom. It's a reason why our men are not noticed or, or not acknowledged in this earth, man. It's because of Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's because of the curses that the Lord placed on us for being a disobedient people. But we're going back into that power, man. We're going, and trust me, when, when I tell you, you want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that, man. I pray to Yahweh by Shimei that he would, you know, don't blow out my candlestick. 
nor remove his Holy Spirit from me, man, that I make them chariots if I'm here and alive, or, or if I die in this thing, you know, that, that I come back, you know, um, um, with him on the first trip, man, you know? You know? Because th this truth, if this truth, if this, if this Hebrew Israelite truth is not real, then what chance do we really have, man? These motherfuckers will stomp on us for another 20,000 years if they can. Matter of fact, they'll be done got rid of us by then. If this truth is not the truth, we have absolutely no chance, man. All we have is our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's all we have. That's all the hope that we have, man. There's no way that we can win. We don't have no, these people can, 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 they can send a drone over every so-called black city within minutes and kill off all of us. The ones that, that, the remnant that make it, they can just drive off through the neighborhoods and just search all the homes and, and, and snatch up the rest as prisoners or whatever the hell. And, and, and they can easily demolish and get rid of us, you know, but I mean, they can't do it if, you, if it's not the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. I'm just using it as an example. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, <laughs> this thing is getting grimy out here, though. It's getting real grimy out here. Here you go. You got um, it's looking at this crap. See, this is the type of shit niggas into. Michigan NAACP teams up with Divine Nine Black Greek organizations. And where does that Greek come in at? When you see neither Jew nor Greek in the scriptures. See, they'll use that and say, see, the Lord loves everybody. Everybody can be saved. But see, this is something that our, our people have been into since the Greek captivity. And they still go to college and get branded, go through all kinds of dumbass hazing, do all kinds of silly ass shit to, or, you know, to get off into these, these fraternities. Now, hey, that's, that all goes back to the Greek captivity and in the, in, um, in the Apocrypha. That's where Paul was going to. He was going to Greek-speaking Jews. You see? Jews, uh, Israelites that were scattered through all throughout all those lands. That's another lesson as well, though. But see, as you can see, our people are still into Greek fashions, Greek customs, because there was a time where it was against the law for us to keep Jewish ways. It was against the law. We had to keep Greek customs. So a lot of our people started speaking Greek. You know, they, they, they started, they wasn't circumcising the boys no more on the eighth day. They was eating all kinds of abominable foods like the Greeks were eating. You see, and every damn, I, I was at the uh, plantation today, damn Edomites all talking to me about uh, pork this, pork that, all the pork they're about to uh, throw on the, on the grill for their 4th of July. And I'm just looking at them like, <laughs> you know, just, just thinking in my mind, like you nasty, savage ass niggas, man. But our people live like that. And our people are about to, they, 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 they right now, the women getting their hair and nails, they getting everything together. They getting prepared. And, and you know, a lot of our people get killed on these holidays. The Lord be judging a lot of our people on these holidays, man. Here you go. You're about to go and celebrate the demise of our people. That's, that's another low, man. That, we're, at a, we're at a super duper low vibration in this place, man. We're the lowest of low when it comes to people, man. We, we, went, we, went, we went from complete royalty, man, to complete shit. And, I'm, I'm, and, and, and it even beyond even lower than shit, actually. I'm just using that because that's the only word I can think of as a low. <laughs> we, we're, we're finished here, but these so-called white people are about to get at it. They're about to get to bucking, and you best believe they're in control of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and they're going to be after your ass as well. So, like I said, again, it's high time to awake out of sleep. You have to repent, man, because we're living in these last days. It's about to get, they about to get busy, and the reason why there's so much shit going on in the news is because they don't want you to know what, what's about to go down? The dollar is failing. You see? Stock market. You know, this shit is about to be crazy as hell. These guys are driving these 18 wheelers. They can't get no fuel. See? See, right now you can go and get your hot dogs, your chicken, your pork ribs, and all this shit for your last holiday, probably. It, it, matter of fact, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but you can bought damn near call this the last supper, so to speak. When you get your last barbecue, man. It's about to be a wrap out here. Romans 13 and 11, I'll end out here. About to get grimy out here, man. Keep your head on a swivel. I know we, we bring this out quite a bit, but we gotta we gotta stay on top of it, man. The scriptures is is simple. The Lord, hey, the gospel is simple. 
Go forth and, and tell the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that the kingdom is at hand. Our kingdom. It's going to be ran righteously, man. You know, we, these so-called white people, man, they're, they're going to be shit in the kingdom, just like they, they brought us to a complete law of shit. <laughs> it's going to be a role reversal in that kingdom. All that white Jesus crap. Hey, get, hey, stop it with the, with the white Jesus idolatry, man. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And, you know, we like, I like to bring that scripture out all the time, those two verses right there. You know, because we are living in the last days. We are closer than um, when we first believed. Because the, the last day started when Yahweh was on earth 2,000 years ago. So just think about how close we are now. All the things that he spoke of are starting to happen. The wars, rumors of wars, right? You know, I didn't even get that. Let me, let me get that real quick. The wars, rumors of wars. All those things are happening right now. 24. Matthew 24. I'll start from verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So these, this, the disciples is asking the Lord, what's going to be going down before you come? And Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We don't call on Jesus. We call him by his real name, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior, Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. There's no letter J in Hebrew. The letter J was invented in 1524 around the Renaissance age when they painted that white Jesus picture that you're accustomed to looking at. That's idolatry. His name is not Jesus. There's no letter J in Hebrew, you see? And his name is not E.A. Zeus. He wasn't a Greek. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And his name was Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. It says, and Yahawashai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. See, we don't call on Christ neither. We call him the Mashiach, the anointed one. You see? Mashiach uh, in Paleo-Hebrew. And shall deceive many. It says, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and, and shall deceive many. And th that's a lot of that going on. And a lot of people really believe that the Lord is a white guy. But the scripture describes him as being a dark, melanated man. With woolly hair and a deep voice, an austere man. Austere means that he was rigid he was rough he was you know he had a deep voice he wasn't playing no games you, when you see this white jesus character it's all just look like he looked like a bearded lady man just all effeminate as hell and the scriptures talks about no effeminate shall make the kingdom of of, of um yahweh bashim yahweh shai so why would they give you this effeminate ass picture of the lord of you know, some blonde haired blue eyed white guy with his hair hanging on his ass down to his ass looking like a bearded woman man come on man but this is the point right here Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, which that's coming. It's already popping. It's already popping. And trust me, when I tell you, I was just looking at this video with um, Apostle, um, Apostle Tahar. He put up yesterday with this trucker. And he was showing all the trucks that was out on the highway. That was out of get out of diesel and they couldn't get diesel All the um, diesel um, places was out of um, they was out of diesel and they was out of oil. So these truckers that ship your food to Walmart and ship your food to your local supermarket and ship your your goods to, you know, your medicines or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to ship that shit. And it's coming. It's coming. People not people just not paying attention. See, all this stuff is going on in the background where they got you focused on killing babies, man. It says, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All that's happening. Where well, they just had that earthquake that killed a thousand or so people over in Afghanistan, and they still counting. They ain't even been talking about that no more. You know, that was just a few days back, about a week ago or so. And, and earthquakes happen on a day-to-day -day basis. But the pestilence, they, now they're talking about all these different so-called diseases that's that's jumping off and they're gonna hit y'all with another one they're gonna get you they're gonna get you with another quick lockdown they're gonna hit you with another one joe biden uh, joe biden already done mentioned that you got your boy um dr falsey out here he he supposedly done caught it and and he's got it uh, you know they, i ain't gonna even get into it because you know how that go but just keep your eyeball out man for all this stuff 
It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. You see? And, it, you know, I'll just end out there. But um, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. We're definitely at the end of this thing. Because the only thing, the only last thing that, that has to happen is this World War III. And it's, it's on, the, um, on, on the brink right now. You know, what's that, that, um, that third woe? World War Three, Jacob's trouble, and um, that 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 um, that C H I P, that M A R K, to the B, E A S T, that beast out here, man. They want to put that thing in you. Revelations eleven and fourteen. It says the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. See, this third world war is is on a brink. It's about to happen quickly. And it's, some, you know, it's only a few of these Edomites really out here that kind of really understand what's going on. But America is doomed, man. This place is through. You know, the, the so-called white man, like I said, it, they're reaping what they've sown because they made us so in, insignificant in the earth to the point where now they're becoming ins insignificant. And you can see it. See, the, the scripture says that Yahweh is not mocked. That that a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And they're reaping what they've sown, but they haven't gotten the full fruitation of it so to speak yet <laughs> it's coming too man because they falling all bad man because they you know these senses and that's the reason for Roe and Wade Roe versus Wade see they're trying to stop so-called white women from having abortions so they can keep up with everybody because they're dying quicker than they're being born and that's that's regular news out here now they used to try and hide that stuff but now you shit you can hear that on the news like it's nothing now you can google that and it's nothing they'll show you all the statistics you know, showing that they are they're dying off quicker than they're actually being born because they the the, the data says that 60 percent of the so-called white women are having abortions. But they'll try and make it seem like it's really all you But see. We're such a small percentage from what they you know, in America, our women, they go hard about it. You know what I'm saying? So they do have a lot more abortions percentage wise. But the percentage wise. When it comes to the so-called white woman, because I think it's about 40, 50 million of us. So you have to look at it, maybe about 25 million of us or so are women. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and but it's like 200 and I think like, what is it like? Damn near like 220 or so million of them. So, but the 60% the of the so-called white women are having abortions. So they want to stop the so-called white woman from, from killing these babies so they can keep the white race going. And see, they, they, they've, they've come up with all kinds of stuff to try and do it. Like some of those other countries, like your, you know, your, your European countries, like your Polands and places of that nature, um, they pay their citizens to actually have children. They don't want no, no dark nations coming off into their, um, their, 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 um, their kingdom like that. They, they pay. Matter of fact, it's uh, one country, I want to say that was Belgium. Man, they pay, they pay for the woman and the man to be off for a year to take care of um, babies. And then if you have another baby, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they like, hey, we'll pay you to have babies. That's how desperate they are to keep their race going. But it's not gonna have, um, gonna, it's not gonna make any difference, because the Lord said He He made them small amongst the nations. See, they're they're reaping what they sown, man. And you know, I could go on and on and on with that, but I just wanted to just touch on, um, you know, these were the main two things I wanted to touch on: putting issues fresh warnings to Finland and Sweden on installing NATO infrastructure. And, um, you know, of course, NATO gave their, their little shot back. NATO sends nuclear retaliation warnings to Russia and China. See, and you know China, they done, they done got, got down with Russia. You know, they got a lot in common. But see, the thing of it is, is they're, they're, it's that separation. See, Russia, is they're actually so-called white people. They shouldn't even be linking up with China to fight against their own people. But that's the way that the Lord has it. You know, China and Russia is a huge part of the prophecies, man, of the end times and, and America being destroyed. So I pray that the lesson was edifying. Oh, yeah. Um, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans repent. The true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Those are the true names of the father and son. You have to repent, man, because we're living in the last days. And, and when all this shit hits the fans. You want the covering of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, man. All that white Jesus crap. See, they beat white Jesus into us. 
if you notice these so-called white people they don't even want nothing to do with the bible no more you don't hear them talking about if if you're hearing anything about um um these white christian churches it's it's, it's always something about the damn catholics doing something to these kids or some shit you see and you got all these pastors that was running around um just the other day you know uh supporting the roe versus wade shit how you out here you you supposed to be a believer and you 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 wit killing babies man so that white jesus crap man is out of here but I just wanted to just touch on that, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.